This is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to talk about the dumper guilt timeline. Dumper guilt is more common than you might think. If you've been dumped, you probably think your ex doesn't care about your feelings since it was their decision to leave you and they knew it would hurt you. But that is rarely the case. So stay tuned and I will tell you all about the timeline. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you have downloaded my app Silencio, which I hope you have, then please be sure to either leave a rating or a review. And the link to that app is underneath every single video and podcast. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to NoContactSecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before you purchase the book. Okay, so dumper guilt. When does it start? Well, it actually starts a few days after the breakup. However, at that time, they're feeling more compassion than guilt. If they cared about you, they didn't want to hurt you, but I wouldn't necessarily classify it as guilt they're not going to be feeling strong guilt at this time because they're in the relief stage. They got what they wanted, so they're happy. So it's very unlikely they're going to be feeling really guilty. This is one of the reasons why you don't respond to breadcrumbs because they may simply be reaching out because they feel compassion for you and they know that you're probably upset and they're hoping you'll respond and relieve them of any small guilt they may have. So by not responding, no, they're not necessarily going to think that you're mad if you don't respond, as some people are afraid will happen. They don't know what you're thinking or feeling. Just because you don't respond, it doesn't mean you're mad. But dumpies usually jump to that conclusion and they try to use it as yet another excuse to stay or to break, no contact. So while I talked in the video on the 60 day rule, which I will put the link up in the right hand corner, that you're most likely to hear from your ex between days 45 and 60, it doesn't necessarily mean they're reaching out because they feel guilty with a capital G. It might be guilt with a small G, but more than anything, they may have moments of missing you, moments where something reminds them of you, and or they're curious as to why you've gone quiet. They don't know that you've joined the no contact army. (laughs) Then we have the guilt that's felt from two to six months after the breakup. So by this time, they're usually out of the relief stage and being single again is not necessarily as exciting as it was when they broke up with you. And if they got into a relationship soon after the breakup, it was likely a rebound. And so this is the time during which that relationship would most likely end. This is when they would start to re-examine the relationship with you, wonder if they made a mistake, and start to feel guilty with a capital G, big G. (laughs) And this can only happen if you, the dumpy, handled the situation correctly after the breakup, went into no contact, and left them alone. If you didn't leave them alone and you stayed in touch, then they are less likely to feel guilt with a capital G because you can't be that hurt if you're still in touch with them, right? And by the way, if you're finding this helpful, this information, please give it, give this video a like so that the YouTube algorithm will re- recommend it to other people and we can help other people find out about the dumper relief timeline, dumper guilt timeline. <laughs> okay, and then finally, we have the time period that is past six months. And this is interesting because they're either feeling no guilt at all and they feel that they made the right decision and they can move forward, or they're feeling very guilty. If they met someone during this time and it's working out for them, then I'm sorry to tell you that they won't be feeling any guilty, any guilt. Or if you didn't do no contact and stayed in touch again, they won't feel any guilt. That's why I'm constantly begging you guys to please stay in no contact, leave them alone, and don't respond to breadcrumbs. And if you did all this and the dumper is not happier than they were when they were with you, 
then they will feel guilty. And this is what makes dumpers reach out months or even years later. They're not happier and fulfilled without you and they haven't been able to replace you. And their guilt has, has built up over time and life has shown them that indeed they did make a mistake. They're in the reflection stage and this is great for you. It's good news for you. So to recap, the dumper would feel guilt with a small G a few days after the breakup and for the first two months and then guilty with a big G in two months from two months onwards if you behave correctly after the breakup and if they didn't get into another relationship which lasted. So which stage do you think your ex is in currently? Please comment below and finally I want to end with a short comment from my YouTube channel and someone heard from their ex after six months and hmm, maybe she's feeling guilty. And he says, today's my birthday and what do you know? She sent me a happy birthday message. Six months of no contact were worth it. There were times when I felt like she would never reach out again. Times when I doubted no contact, but you were right, Lucia. I was. <laughs> It might be just a message and nothing more. However, that is a big win for me, a psychological one at least. Oh, and by the way, I'll be taking my time responding to that message. <laughs> my old me would definitely answer to her straight away and would definitely try to find an excuse to meet up. Let's show her the new me instead. Yes, let's show her. She might appreciate the old me more, who knows. So hopefully that turned out well and they ended up getting back together. And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.